can be open, the vents are covered. Right? So this is where the battery is plugged in. This guy goes and connects here. All right? Now, talking about electric, single pole, double pole. What's, what's the difference? What are those? Single pole earths the body. It earths with the body. Right? Double pole for aircraft that usually are made from non-conductive material. Now, <coughs> as I said, this one, the negative, right, goes in here. But you'll notice attached to it also, you have one wire going to this, so it's earthing the engine, and it's bolted to the firewall of the aircraft. Right? So this is the earth. Right? But you if you touch the aircraft, you won't get electrocuted. Okay, don't worry about that. This is a single pole aircraft, right? For the electrics. Okay. <clears throat> In this one, you can see this one doesn't have a Bendix cover. Right? So when you hit the starter, this comes forward and connects with this and spins the engine. Alright. So that's why it's important when you, once you start the aircraft, you don't do that again. You get a <laughs> sound. That's because this guy is scraping with this. The engine spins much faster once it's started. Okay, over here, you can tell me what this is. The alternator. This is the alternator, right? It, from this, through this belt, it's driven by the engine. So as soon as the engine starts, the alternator is charging the battery. And providing what? current to the rest of the aircraft once the engine has started. Okay. <clears throat> Come over here. Excuse me, tell me what this is to. Think about where it goes and connect. Okay. Uh, uh, it's coming from the Okay. So it takes heat from this. Okay, it doesn't take this the exhaust. It takes heat from the exhaust and sends it inside. This thing doesn't need carburetor heat. Why is that? This is fuel injector. Right? If you look down, okay. This is to operate the choke valve, the thro throttle valve, right? This pipe, right, is where the fuel is sent into the system, all right? To the injectors and to the inlet manifold, all right? Now, is that why it's coming from here? Yeah, this is also an earth, all right? Now, what, who can tell me what this is? The nice clean one. In yeah. Right, and then this is the exhaust, exhaust manifold, right? Right there. Now these are the bottom sparks. All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Who can tell me what these pipes are for? Just guessing. What's in this area? The, the cylinders and the that's the tap. That's okay. where you get. Yeah, that's the cylinder head. That's where you get the valves, right? Now the valves also need lubrication. Oh, this sends oil send to the valves to lubricate mm -hmm. them. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? This is also a cooler. Where does it go? Is there an oil cooler in front? On the other side? Is there an oil cooler? Does it say this? So then this is the oil cooler. the blade. Alright. Now. I don't know, but don't the touch the blade, dude. Yeah, intake. Yeah, intake. Yeah, intake. Who can show me the vacuum pump? Yeah, intake. Right? That one. How many vacuum pumps are there? One. Huh? Don't look at me. Look at that. Sir, what's this box? Yeah. Which box? That box. That. That's the black box. There's a rock. These are the <laughs> regulators. These are the regulators in the box. In 152, they are attached to the firewall. Right? 
So essentially, it's like a big, uh, you could say in a car, the, the closest thing to that is the fuel box. 